This girl is so hot that she is sweating even in winter. She slowly climbed up the ice chute and drank every drop of the ice water in it, which directly stunned all the students present. After drinking, she even gave the girl who poured the water a victory kiss. Fatty was cracking up because this was the goddess of her dreams. This is the school with the most hot girls in the world. On his first day here, Handsome has seen to school beauties. Facing the two blonde beauties, little Shui's hands are shaking with excitement. It's like a six in the air. No wonder all the boys who come here get great grades. Xiao Mei even asked Xiao Shui to do a small favor. Taste the lollipop flavor. Xiao Shui said his favorite flavor is strawberry. Watching the two beauties leave after washing their clothes, Xiao Shui felt like he was dreaming and he couldn't even walk steadily anymore. But still went to the hot girl's dormitory. Sharp eye Xiao Shui immediately saw a silk pajamas. Xiao Shui said the fabric is quite good, so he experienced for a while, wishing he could have a similar model. Just when he was intoxicated, Xiao Mei and girlfriends have returned. Xiao Shui can only hide in the closet. In this way, Xiao Shui is very compromised through the gap in the closet to see the two hot girls play until dawn. Xiao Shui had fallen in love with Xiao Mei's best friend, D.A. Mei. When he saw Dame again at the party, Xiao Shui's heart was racing and he couldn't breathe. Xiao Shui and Dame are happily in love, but then a handsome man comes to steal his woman. The handsome man and Xiao Shui fight over D.A. Mei. Love really can't tolerate a grain of sand. But in the end, Dame chose Handsome, and Handsome had no choice but to leave. And Fatty was very lucky to get the favor of the school beauty, Xiao Mei. Fatty is no longer looking forward to tomorrow, he just wants to stay in this moment forever. And the handsome guy who beat Xiao Shui thought tonight was his lucky night. But he didn't realize that Mei is a devil who specializes in sucking Yang energy. In no time at all, the handsome guy was drained. In the morning, the police found him in the snow, a cold corpse. Besides Ami and Mei, there were more demons disguised as hot girls. This simple and honest man thought he was going to say goodbye to his bachelorhood today. But suddenly, the hot chick reached out and sucked out the man's yang energy. The man was frouncing to death without his yang energy. And sometimes the devil will turn back to his original form because of too much excitement, which is very ugly. The men still can't understand that the pretty girl is a demon. Fatty's yang energy was very strong and he was the first man who didn't die immediately after being sucked by Xiao Mei. When Xiao Shui rushed to Xiao Feng's home to save Xiao Feng, Xiao Feng also tried to stop Xiao Shui, thinking that Xiao Shui wanted to rob his girlfriend. Xiao Mei is very afraid of fire, it seems that this demon also has a nemesis. And, although Fatty didn't die right away, but Xiao Mei has implanted an egg in Fatty's body, wanting Fatty to be able to carry on the family line for the monsters. But the egg was in Xiao Shui's body, and actually crawled out of his mouth. In the end, Fatty lost his life because there was no more yen energy in his body. Handsome lost his good brother, he was devastated and sprayed Xiao Mei with fire. Xiao Mei was suddenly trapped in her original form and ran away without a trace. A few days later, Xiao Mei gathered all the monsters in the school and each of them had a date with a boy. They decided to suck all the men there dry. Instead, Xiao Shui broke into the school with his man. Today Xiao Shui is going to kill all the demons in one go. One by one, the monsters were burned out of their original forms by fire. But in the end, only the monster's boss, Ami, escaped. His girlfriend found Shui and decided to reward him for saving everyone's life. But Shui was hallucinating. Whenever they were doing something, Shui would always imagine his girlfriend as a monster with tentacles all over her body. He became a psychopath and had to see a psychiatrist. He was hospitalized in a mental hospital. After Mei left school, she gathered some monsters to seduce single men. This hot girl sucked a man's yen energy in the car. A policeman was coming to check the car, so she used a beauty trick to lure the policeman. The cop just got divorced yesterday and thought he was lucky. In the end, the policeman was drained of his vitality and became a dry corpse. And these monsters are even more skillful. They specialize in geeks who look honest. They can tell what kind of women a man likes by observing his eyes. But this Otaku was scared of a hot girl, who was very aggressive. He is the geek, who is too inferior and runs away in the middle of the day because he is afraid of not being able to satisfy his goddess. This surprised the hot girl, and the geek is incredibly regretful when he escapes home, just short of saying goodbye to Seamless. One of the geek's roommates decided to take the initiative and spray perfume all over his body. The book says the more you spray, the higher the success rate. The geek goes up to a girl and talks to her. The girl smelled a very pungent bad perfume and almost threw up. But the geek thought the girl was already obsessed with him, so he desperately asked her out to play. In the end, the girl couldn't stand it anymore and slammed the door. At that moment, an even prettier hottie came in. It's the first time she's met a man with such a strong flavor, so she's immediately interested. In fact, this hot girl is a monster. 
the geek was so happy that he turned around and sprayed down scenes of times. This is a symbol of charm, of course, it didn't take long for the hot girl to suck out all the man's yang energy. Because the guy sprayed too much perfume, it was too pungent, so the hot girl showed her original form. Then the monster went around looking for the otaku. On this day, the otaku was despised by a girl. Just when the geek was disappointed, a hot girl appeared and saved the geek. Of course, she's an ogre. She saw that the geek liked uniforms, so she immediately showed her most seductive side. Of course, it wasn't long before the demon drained him of his virility, and he died in the snow. And the monster's boss, Ami, decided to kill Handsome, because only Shrai knew their secret. Xiao Mei seduced the director of the hospital, and then successfully became a doctor. When Xiao Shrai saw Xiao Mei, he was going to scald him with boiling water because demons are afraid of fire and heat. But the psychiatrist stopped Xiao Shrai and then gave him a shot, thinking that Xiao Shrai was having another psychotic episode. In the following days, they seduced one geek after another, and down scenes of geeks were drained of their yen energy and die. As more and more people died, Shrai had to step in. A friend rescued Shrai from the mental hospital. Handsome gathered his friends and started to kill the demon with a fire-breathing weapon. Finally, with everyone's efforts, the monsters were all killed. Everyone was relieved and ran to the demon's lair and found it full of men's bodies. These were all killed by the demon, but they suddenly realized that the corpses had been seated by the monsters. The monsters had bred a new generation of monsters in the corpses. These monsters are even more powerful. All the geeks were trembling with fear once again. A beautiful girl practicing her sword in a wheat field. She has fought 300 rounds with a silver sword. But the girl is still no match for the sword. And the sword is incredibly powerful. The girl was exhausted and panting. The girl's master is the white witch, who is 3000 years old. This silver sword is just the white witch's sword energy. The sword is extremely fast. The girl's power is growing rapidly. The white witch will teach the girl archery. The master asked her to choose a target. She chose a tree 100 meters away. But master said it was too close. The girl said I'd shoot at the opposite hill. Met an arrow. Two kilometers away, in the woods, the prince was hunting when suddenly a silver arrow flew past his eyes, causing him to almost fall over. The prince's two brothers thought that their brother was in trouble and rushed over. The prince was looking for someone who wanted to kill him in the forest. When the master realized that his pupil was in trouble, he told the maiden to run away and hide herself from them. The maiden ran into the fog and hid in the grass when no one could see her. A moment later, the prince rode up on his horse. The maiden was so nervous that she tried to draw her sword in defense, but realized that she had dropped her quiver of arrows. The prince picked up the quiver. When she saw the princess him that this was her territory, don't destroy my forest. The prince said, I'm looking for a beautiful girl with beautiful eyes and long brown hair. But the forest goddess said, she was a fairy and did not belong to your world. Please go back. The prince left with great regret. A little while later, the beautiful girl came out and saw the forest goddess. But she didn't know that this was the white witch. So she thanked the goddess of the forest and said, Thank you for helping me. The goddess of the forest told the girl to go back to the castle. It turned out that she was the daughter of the king, but she had been thrown out. The prince was from another kingdom. The two kingdoms were at war with each other. And the princess's father was in trouble and needed her back. The king has three daughters. All of them are very beautiful. The princes are always coming to propose. This one was not very bright and couldn't speak clearly. And this one was so ugly, it was frightening. The Grand Princess couldn't stand the sight of him. She'd rather die than marry such a man. The third prince was arrogant and violent. The princes took out their rings and proposed to the princesses. When the princess saw how the princes behaved, she fainted. When the youngest princess came back, she saw that none of the princes were satisfied and immediately objected to her to sisters marrying such men. The third prince had his eye on the little princess. But the little princess did not agree, because she had already fallen in love with the prince she met in the forest, and no other man would be able to meet her eyes. The king was so angry with the princess for her disobedience, that he sent her to work in the kitchen for a month. The princess went to the kitchen. The head chef gave the princess a hard time and told her to kill the ducks. The little princess had never killed anything before, but she didn't want to make others look down on her, so she took a knife to the duck. But the duck suddenly spoke and asked the princess not to kill him. The princess was very surprised that it was a precious duck. The duck told the princess that your father would be in trouble and that you should hide under his bed today to know the truth about something. Under the cover of the duck, the princess escaped from the kitchen. The princess found out that the minister of the kingdom had bribed some of the king's military advisors. The minister didn't want to give up his power, so he kept on waging war. The military advisors also fanned the flames in front of the king, and the wars went on and on, making the people's lives unbearable. At that time, the king of the enemy country died, 
and the prince became the new king. The new king didn't want to continue the war, so he proposed a condition. Both countries sent their best knights to fight in a duel, and the winner could merge the two countries and unify them, thus ending the war. The king didn't know what to do, so he summoned the White Witch. The White Witch told the king that only your descendants could defeat the enemy's knights. But the king thought it was impossible, because his descendants didn't have a son, but three daughters. How could they possibly go to the duel? The youngest daughter, knowing all this under her bed, joined her two sisters and asked her father for a duel the next day. The two sisters were scared to death, but for the sake of the country, they had to fight. The three daughters put on their armor and mounted their horses. They dressed up like men, not wanting the enemy to find out that they were daughters. On the other hand, the prince of the kingdom, who had just become king, was in a state of lethargy. Because the prince had a very bad case of love sickness. Every day he missed the beautiful maiden he met in the forest that day. The prince looked at the silver sword and saw the eyes of his beloved in the mirror. The prince was so lovesick that he wanted to find the person he met in the forest that day. The prince thought of a good idea. He gathered all the beautiful women in the country and made all of them veiled, showing only two eyes, because the prince only needed to see those eyes to recognize the woman in his heart at once. The most beautiful women in the country appeared in front of the prince one by one, but after looking at thousands of women, the prince still didn't see his beloved. The prince's brother was so anxious that his brother couldn't see her, while he himself had his eye on several. One of the most beautiful women wanted to win the prince's heart, but the prince asked you a question. What is a woman's greatest fear? The woman said her greatest fear was the rose cave in the forest, in which lived a beast that ate women, and the little princess in male disguise has come to the prince's kingdom and the prince recognizes him at once, but the prince didn't know whether he was a man or a woman. The little princess fought with the prince's brother, and neither brother was a match for her, but the prince wouldn't fight until he knew if she was a man or a woman. Even if he won a duel with a woman, it would be a shame. The prince thought of a good idea, that is to let the little princess go to the rose cave in the forest. Because the beasts there eat women, if she was a woman, she wouldn't dare to go there. But I didn't realize that the little princess was not an ordinary person. She was very bold. There was nothing she didn't dare to go to. The little princess went into the cave. The prince immediately regretted, afraid that the little princess would be eaten, and shouted at her to come out quickly. But the little princess was now at the end of the cave, and there was a golden rose. The little princess heard the voice of the beast, but could not see where the beast was. After a while, there were some sharp pillars sticking out from all sides, which were actually the teeth of the beast. The little princess was already in the beast's mouth. Realizing the danger, the princess didn't know what to do. The precious duck beside her said, This golden rose is actually the knot of the beast's throat. Pluck one of my feathers to tickle him. The little princess kept scratching the golden rose with this duck feather. The beast laughed and laughed, but the princess kept on scratching. The beast couldn't stand it anymore, and his laughter was so loud that the cave collapsed. The princess took advantage of the chaos and ran out of the cave. The prince was relieved to see that the princess was safe and sound. But the prince was still reluctant to find out whether the little princess was a man or a woman. So I put forward another request. That is, a swimming competition. Because if you go swimming, you will take off your clothes, and then you will know whether you are a man or a woman. The little princess knew that she would be exposed if she went swimming. So she told one of her warriors, When I go to the swimming competition, you come in time and report that my father is sick and needs to go back immediately. That way, I can have a very reasonable excuse to leave the competition. On the day of the race, the prince took off his coat. It was the princess's turn to take off her coat, but the princess was wearing too much, so she took off one coat after another, slowly stalling for time. The soldiers were already riding to the game. One of his companions handed the soldier a glass of wine. The soldier refused for fear that the drink would be a mistake, so he rode on at a fast pace. On the way, he met an old woman who was injured. This is actually the transformation of the precious duck, which wants to stall the soldier, so that the prince and the princess can have a marriage. But the soldier refused to help and continued on his way. The old duck had no choice but to use the ultimate trick, that is, to turn into a very wild big beautiful woman out of the water, let the soldier down to play. The soldier could refuse everything, but he couldn't refuse this beautiful woman. So the soldier forgot about his mission and jumped into the water. And the little princess couldn't wait for the soldier to come to her rescue. Finally, she could only tell the prince that I am here to fight with you, not to swim with you. Now immediately, immediately duel. The little princess does not care whether the prince agrees or not, then directly start to fight. They fought for hundreds of rounds. But in the end, the prince was no match for the princess. The winner had to kill the other king, but the princess couldn't do it. The princess gave up the chance to kill the other king. The minister was very angry, so he took the princess back to the castle. The king was also very angry when he found out. If you don't kill him, then the war might go on. A duel is a duel in which the winning side must kill the other side to win. 
The king was so angry that he locked up the princess. But a few days later, the prince came to the castle with his two brothers. The prince told the king that although the knights you sent in kill me, I am willing to give up my throne and hand over our kingdom to you. Seeing the prince's sincerity, the king made one condition. He wanted the three princes to marry his three daughters. Because only with a marriage will the relationship be stronger and bring true peace. And the two princesses had their eyes on the two princes. Only the eldest prince didn't want to marry the youngest. Because the prince didn't know that the little princess was the girl she met in the forest. The first and second sisters had to take the prince to the dungeon. The white witch came to the little princess and gave her a gorgeous dress. The prince finally saw the little princess, who was the beautiful girl she met in the forest. The three princes married the three princesses, and they were all kings and queens. But the eldest prince no longer wanted to be king. But the eldest prince no longer wanted to be king, but put the crown on the head of the youngest princess. And they lived happily ever after, and the United Kingdom had peace and prosperity. Astronaut Barbara slept in her spaceship for 50 years and immediately drank a cup of nutrient solution when she woke up. Because this ship has already flown out of the Milky Way, the strong shockwave makes the ship very bumpy. Barbara had to pilot the ship herself, traveling at superluminal speeds between asteroids. At this moment, the ship was sucked by a huge planet and landed on the ground after a while. Barbara immediately opened the door of the ship and arrived on the planet. Barbara looked around and two little girls came out speaking an incomprehensible language. Barbara was adjusting the translator in her hand. The little girls knocked Barbara unconscious with a puck and brought in ropes to tie her up. Then they summoned a snapper and the sled dragged Barbara along. After a few kilometers, Barbara was taken to an abandoned spaceship. There were a lot of children here looking at Barbara in a very unfriendly way. Barbara was tied to a post by the children. Then they put dolls around Barbara. The dolls all had horrible faces and big mouths. Barbara was scared, but the dolls swarmed over Barbara and bit her like crazy. After a while, Barbara's whole body was covered with wounds, so many that she was in a lot of pain. Barbara was in so much pain, she was afraid she'd die if she kept biting. At that moment, a steel warrior appeared and used a fishing net to catch all the little devils. An ant saved Barbara from unconsciousness. Barbara was very grateful to him. The man takes Barbara on a tour of the planet. They rode in a windmill. Barbara said, I don't know how to thank you. The man wants Barbara to be his girlfriend. Barbara gives the man a pill, and the man shows off his thick hair. The windmill was spinning in the snow like a dandelion without direction. When Barbara came out of the windmill, she was a completely different person. Barbara had fallen in love with this man, but the man was a prodigal son of the universe and wouldn't give up the forest for the tree. Barbara had to return to her ship and say goodbye to the man. The ship flew into space again, but after a while, it ran out of energy and fell out of the sky. The man was so scared that he ran away. The ship made a big hole in the ground and fell to the ground. I didn't realize it was a dungeon. As soon as Barbara stepped out of the cabin, she fell to the ground and passed out. At that moment, an angel came over to her. The angel had no eyes, and although she couldn't see, she realized that she was a woman by the feel of her hands. Barbara woke up and couldn't believe the angel was blind. Then a group of villains came to arrest Barbara. Although the angel is blind, he kills the villains with a gun at Barbara's command. The angel flew into the sky with Barbara. It was really romantic. At that moment, a few more airplanes came and shot at the angel. Barbara fought the bad guys with her gun. She and the angel were working so well together. The bad guys were all wiped out. The angel took Barbara to meet the queen of the planet. The queen took an immediate liking to Barbara and wanted to make her queen. But Barbara didn't like women. The queen was furious when she was rejected. She knew that Barbara's lover was an angel, so she had the angel tied up and crucified. The queen forced Barbara to marry herself. Barbara first pretends to agree, then takes the queen hostage when she is caught off guard and must release the angel. The queen had to release the angel, but then the queen had the brilliant idea to have a man take Barbara away and be with the angel herself. Because when she was with the angel, she was with Barbara. And the man took Barbara to a basement and put Barbara in a massager powered by a piano. People in here are usually tortured to death in less than 10 minutes. The man began to play the piano frantically. From the lower right side of the piano, clothes and shoes came out. Barbara was shocked. She couldn't imagine that this pianist was so powerful. The man wanted to play Barbara to death and played as hard as he could, sweating and panting. But an hour had passed and Barbara hadn't died yet. In the end, the piano went up in smoke and burned. It was the first time that a man had met such a woman who had overcome this cruel instrument of torture.
the man wanted to kill Barbara with his gun. Barbara knew that this man had always loved the queen. So Barbara said, I have the key to the queen's room. The man let Barbara open the door, but Barbara locked herself in the queen's room. The man got angry and activated his secret weapon and started shooting every man on the planet. He thought that after killing all the men, he would have a chance to be favored by the queen. When the queen saw the man's madness, she immediately activated the planet's destruction plan. The earth shook and flooded. After a while the man was drowned, the queen and Barbara were protected by the safety pods. So they escaped to the outside. And then the angels flew over. Now there are only two women and one angel left on the planet. The angel took the queen and Barbara up into the sky. And they lived happily ever after, nurturing new life on the planet. The woman stood up on the table and danced a merry dance, just to cheer up the group of workers eating lunch. Because the food that has been stepped on by these feet is said to be even more delicious. The man at the next table called Dajon, frowned the moment he saw the woman. Is this the legendary love at first sight? Xiao Mei is a dancer and is now single. To show off his masculinity, Da Chuan wielded his arm against his fellow workers and overpowered them all. Mei couldn't resist such a strong man. Big Strong soon asked Xiao Mei out on a date. They chatted on the beach. Xiao Mei even put her silk scarf as a reward for her strength. Then they found a cozy place to continue their love affair. Biggie had a beautiful girlfriend, and just yesterday, his best mate begged Biggie to give her up because they were in love. He couldn't believe it and went to question his girlfriend. She stopped pretending and broke up with him in the name of true love. Big John lost both his friendship and love and was in tears. But today, he met Xiao Mei. Da Zhong didn't expect that he would fall in love again before he had the chance to lose his love and suffer from it. Although Da Zhong is just an ordinary character, he has a great ambition. Da Zhong wants to build a skyscraper and become a tycoon. Xiao Mei listened to Da Zhong's beautiful picture of the future life and became a little fangirl immediately. Xiao Mei has fallen in love with the men in front of her. Dai Jian took Mei around to solicit investments, but this banker has a crush on Mei and says, if you want me to invest in you, you have to show your sincerity. Big Bro discussed with Xiao Mei and asked her to make sacrifices in order to get the investment. Although Xiao Mei was reluctant, she approached the banker for the sake of her boyfriend's dream. Da Zhuang was Xiao Mei and the banker disappeared from his view and his heart was in pain. Da Zhuang waited for Xiao Mei on the roadside until morning. Da Zhuang anxiously asked Xiao Mei how she was doing. Did he promise to invest? But Xiao Mei said that he is very clear. He will not separate entertainment and work together. Play is okay, but investment is out of the question. It's very hard for Da Zhuang. This time he has stolen a chicken and lost a handful of rice. But Xiao Mei gave Da Zhuang a very good solution. Because the banker has a daughter, you can marry his daughter. Will he still not invest for you? Don't forget me when you succeed. Da Zhuang did what he said he would do and approached the banker's daughter on the pretext of talking about work. Her name is Xiao Li. When she first saw Da Zhuang, she fell deeply in love with this man who is full of male odor. Da Zhuang married into a wealthy family without much effort. They held a grand wedding. Next they had a sweet honeymoon that made the two big wolf dogs of the rich family envious. The wolf dogs decided that in their next life, they must not be dogs. They must be fierce men. Xiao Li's father invested several hundred million immediately. A skyscraper was started, which will be the new landmark of the city. And Biggie was so happy every day that he envied all his ex-colleagues, who used to move bricks together. When her ex-girlfriend found out that Big John had become a famous property developer and had a lot of money, she felt very regretful. So she came to the construction site to find Da Zhong and told him, that she broke up with you because she was blinded by pig shit. The boyfriend who moves bricks now is not good enough for me. Da Zhuang's heart is actually very uncomfortable, but looking at the beautiful face of his ex-girlfriend, he forgave her. The ex-girlfriend asked for money, of course he would give it to her. But on the roof of the building, Da Zhuang succeeded in making his ex-girlfriend his girlfriend again. Di Jin's current girlfriend, Xiao Mei, is living in a big house that Dai Jiang bought for her. Because Big John is busy with his work every day, Xiao Mei feels very lonely. Xiao Mei can only complain about Big John, but Big John has no time to do anything. Xiao Mei regrets giving Big John the idea of marrying the banker's daughter. Although Big John is now very rich, she feels farther and farther away from Big John. Xiao Mei secretly put her red underwear into his suit pocket. Xiao Mei wants to break up Dai Jian's marriage. The fact that Dai Jian comes home late every day has aroused the suspicion of his wife, Xiao Li. Xiao Li smelled a perfume that didn't belong to her, so she searched his clothes in the middle of the night while he was sleeping and found a red underwear. Xiao Li instantly collapsed. This is only married a few months. Her husband still find things for themselves. In the morning, Da Zhuang woke up and saw the red underwear hanging up and instantly understood. Da Zhuang went to explain to Xiao Li, but the explanation was useless. 
Dajong thought of a cruel trick, that is to fight fire with fire. On that night, Dajong quietly brought Xiao Mei back home to the bedroom. When his wife Xiao Li is asleep, Dajong asked Xiao Mei to wake up Xiao Li. Xiao Li woke up and saw the stranger in front of her and sat her down on the floor in shock. Xiao Li couldn't figure out why Da Zhuang would do such a thing to hurt her, but Da Zhuang made an even more outrageous request, hoping that you two women could live together in harmony. Then he turned around and went to another room and sang karaoke alone, leaving the two injured women behind. Xiao Mei and Xiao Li could only chat. I did not expect them to talk more and more. I cannot imagine is so common language. Two hours later, they had become a pair of good girlfriends. Da Zhuang finally reached his ideal, but found that Xiao Mei and Xiao Li were together every day, and he seemed to be an outsider. But D.A. Zhuan didn't really care, seeing two beautiful women every day. It was all so picturesque and refreshing. But the next operation of Xiao Mei and Xiao Li made Big Zhuang feel very bad. They invited a very handsome guy to come to the villa to play with them. When Dae Jane saw them having so much fun, his heart felt like an overflow of vinegar. Dae Jane could only use the alcohol to cause havoc, but Xiao Mei and Xiao Li didn't want to care about D.A. Zhuang at all and went to another place to play. Handsome guy asked Xiao Mei to go out to play and Xiao Mei went out with him. So Biggie forced himself to drive her, but in the car, Big Strong still couldn't stand the flirting between the two, so he drove the car as fast as he could. In the end, he caused a tragedy and crashed the car. The handsome man climbed out of the car and stumbled away. Xiao Mei wasn't so lucky, she wasn't breathing. Big John cried his head off, it was his own recklessness that killed the woman he loved. He was seriously injured and stayed in the hospital for months. When Xiao Li's Father found out what his son-in-law had done. He was very upset and wanted to withdraw his investment. But Xiao Li still loved Da Zhong deeply, so she asked her father to give him one more chance. Da Zhong's body gradually recovered and soon appeared in various casinos. That day, Da Jane saw another woman with a body similar to the dead Xiao Mei's. Soon Da Zhong made his move. He was a rich man, and with his humor, he soon captured the woman's heart. The woman's name was Anna. Big Strong brought Anna back home and then called Xiao Li out, saying he wanted to give Xiao Li a surprise. When Xiao Li saw Anna, she was completely devastated, because Big John still wants to have two women at the same time. But Anna wasn't Xiao Mei, not just anyone, and Xiao Mei only passed away a few months ago, and Da Zhong did something like this. It's really chilling. Xiao Li took off her wedding ring and decided to divorce Da Zhuang. Da Zhuang knew he'd become a pauper if he divorced, so he withdrew all the money from the bank and packed a whole box to leave the country with Anna. Soon Big and Anna went to Miami and they bought a big house. Anna wanted to be an actress. Big and Strong invested all their money in Anna. But Big John didn't have a happy life because Big John found out that Anna went out early and came home late. And he was alone every day. Da Zhuang thought that Anna must be having an affair. So he hired a private detective to investigate. And the result made Da Zhuang's jaw drop. It turns out that Anna is with her own gardener worker. He was so angry that he wanted to beat the gardener to death. But the gardener said, I have no relationship with Anna. She gives me $100 every time. I am just a tool for her. Big Bro found Anna and asked her why. Anna told Biggie that our life was no longer fun. Now that you've realized that, let's break up. Biggie didn't want to break up. Anna made a request. I can stay with you, but the gardener must live with us. In order to keep Anna, Big Zhuang could only agree to Anna's proposal. In the next few days, Big John and the gardener served Anna together. Although the family was happy on the surface, Big John would often cry behind his back. I don't know why he ended up like this. Where did it go wrong? From then on, Big John could only live a life of tragedy. How crazy would a woman be to get a handsome guy? Because she fell in love with him at first sight, she used all sorts of tricks. First, she ambushes him downstairs and draws his picture. Then she stares at him while he's working. Of course, her posture must be beautiful, her eyes must be confusing, and then she says cool things to the man. And that's how she hooked up with him. At night, she comes to his door in her pajamas, leans lazily against the door, and pretends to talk to him about work. In reality, it was just a close-up demonstration of her sweet smile. May wore perfume no? Five today, which made him instantly obsessed. He didn't sleep well all night, and went for a run early in the morning to cool down. But May is still on the attack. While Handsome was taking a shower, she quietly slipped in again, not giving Handsome any time to breathe, so that Handsome would be thinking about her all day long. Before he left for work, May gave him a sweet gift. May invites him to a party in the evening. Although he is busy with work, he can refuse her invitation. At that party, May showed her amazing talent. Her piano playing was too good. The handsome man was completely dumbfounded. This kind of beautiful and talented beauty, the handsome man could not help but be moved. May knew that she had successfully attracted him, so she invited him to go to the beach for a walk. The handsome man looked at May as begging eyes, of course, could not refuse, and immediately drove to the beach. 
At this time the night is quiet, Jiao Mei on the big move. Deep love to the handsome guy confessed, but also to offer their own kisses. But the handsome man still left a more careful eyes. He asked Xiao Mei how old you are. Zhao Mei said 15 years old. Handsome man was shocked and rejected Mei immediately. Because he never touches minors. Mei insisted on being his girlfriend. Handsome ran home and used ice water to cool down. Handsome is still very sensible. He is 28 years old. The age difference is too big.